Hello and welcome back. And uh, today we got a little bit of old tech to show you. A couple of meters that I picked up at the flea market this fall. And uh, the guy who had these had a couple of boxes full of these old uh, voltmeters and millivolt meters. And he was one of these guys, I wanted to kick him in the teeth for the way he was uh, treating these things, that he was just throwing them in the box, dragging them out, banging them into one another as he was showing them around. And of course, they're ending up with cracks in the bake light. Uh, while I was standing there, he actually smashed the glass out of one by throwing another meter on top of a meter. These were built back when the United States built things and we took pride in our work and it's something that has just gone out of our culture today it's a throwaway society these were built to last they were built to be proud of and if you take a look on the side of this one this is a sensitive research corporation and and try to get the glare out of here Tr take a look at this it's got the guy's signature down here that calibrated it and he's got 2 millivolts, 10 millivolts, 50 millivolts, 100 millivolts and what it actually read the serial number, model number they took pride in what they did and this has remained with the meter since the day it was manufactured and is there a date on here? Yes, 1962 this meter has an off position, 100 millivolt full scale, 50 millivolt full scale, 10 millivolt full scale. And when it's in the off position, you can use the 2 millivolt input along with the negative terminal, or what they call the low terminal. And it's 2 millivolts full scale. Now, in the process of getting banged around, of course, the, the thumb screws were damaged. I just couldn't stand it. I had to take two of these away from him and just try to preserve them. And they were absolutely filthy. You could not believe how dirty these were when I picked them up. And I did a little cleaning and of course I did the boot polish trick on the strap. This one's made by Singer Metrics and they also were well known. Uh, sensitive Research was in New Rochelle, New York. Singer Metrics was in Bridgeport, Connecticut and they were both very well known for high precision equipment. This one's still got its calibration seal on it, calibration marking in 1987. Uh, on the back here it says calibrations of this instrument directly traceable to the National Bureau of Standards. I mean the care that they took back then. And these meters were actually, I believe, designed to be operated on their backs. There are no feet on the bottom of them at all, but the feet are on the back. And that's because these meter movements are so sensitive, the only way to get an accurate balance on them is laying them on their back. So how do they stand up today? Well, let me get set up and we'll take a look. Over here I have my uh, Hewlett Packard. Uh, voltmeter. It's a 3456A. This is an extremely accurate voltmeter and it's counting very slowly right now because I've turned on a hundred cycle count integration as well as some filtering to try to get the noise out. It's kind of uh, electrically noisy here in the lab and I only have homemade Kelvin probes and if you see if I hold them I don't know if I'm dissipating a static charge. I know if I hold one, I can actually get it to change a reading because I warm one up a little bit. What we're looking at here is 0, 0 millivolts, 100 microvolts, 10 microvolts, and 1 microvolt. And I can actually go another digit and take this out into 100 nanovolts. But I don't have, the, I don't have leads good enough or a power supply good enough to use it down that low. It's just too noisy in here and you'll see this if I you know dissipate all the charge on the leads I can get it to change sometimes between plus and minus right now the leads are shorted together but it's noisy in here you can only do so much uh, in the home lab reasonably anyway let me get set up and we'll take a look at uh, how these meters stand I've got up this thing set is dead on 
five millivolts as I can get the needle to read. Now there may be some parallax in the camera here, but trust me, that needle is dead center on the uh, five millivolts. And if we bring this up and take a look at the Hewlett Packard over here, we're within a handful of microvolts, about uh, five microvolts low. So that's 4.995 millivolts. And this meter, which is over 50 years old, is reading exactly five millivolts. That's pretty incredible, considering the harsh treatment that meter's had over the years. Now the other meter has a scale, full scale, of two millivolts. So let me see what I can do on setting that okay. one up. Again, this is the other meter, and we are set on exactly, or as exact as I can get it, two millivolts at full scale. Again, there may be some parallax in the angle of the camera here, but believe me, that's dead center on the line. And if we come up here to the HP and take a look, you can see 1.953 millivolts. So we're within 50 microvolts of being on the money. And that meter's been around for many, many, many years. I think that's pretty impressive. I don't know if you guys, anyone out there really cares anymore. Yeah. But I feel saddened that uh, we no longer take this type of pride in our what we make in this country. It's a shame we have to buy everything from China. And incidentally, let me carefully disconnect some of this stuff here so I don't blow these up by accident. <clears throat> it took a while to come up with a combination. My power supply doesn't have the resolution to do this, so I had to go through several voltage dividers and a 10-turn potentiometer over here to uh, come up with a, the right voltage division to make these work. And uh, had to be real careful not to burn them out. I just had to share these. I hope there's somebody out there who appreciates this. And I don't have any idea what I'm going to do with these. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, they both say sensitive research. I just noticed this for the first time. This one says sensitive research instruments on the meter movement and sensitive research on the front of it. This one says sensitive research inside and Singer Metrics Division on the inside. And this is the Model University, and this is a Model University. So evidently there was uh, a collaboration between those two companies, one in Bridgeport and one in New Rochelle. I don't know the history of either of them. Somebody out there is probably laughing at me for not knowing, but they are. They look pretty much identical now that I take another look at it. They both say calibrated for use with a .026 ohm leads, or with 0.26 ohm leads. Anyway, that's it, short and sweet. I just wanted to share these with people. If anyone cares, great. If you don't, oh well. Thanks for watching. If you stuck with me, I'm the Radio Mechanic. See ya.